Jackson to the doctors in the morning to have his blood drawn to see if he is diabetic. He's had some symptoms more recently that we've noticed that have made us realize that we probably should get him tested and find out once and for all if he is diabetic. We are going to have a conversation with him here in a second to kind of tell him about how he has to fast for eight hours, basically can't eat or drink, and um, that he is going to go have his blood tested, but we also don't want to tell him too much about how they're going to test his blood. He's kind of a dramatic kid, and so I don't want to freak him out before we get in there and kind of give him a rundown on what diabetes is. Just a little bit of a brief explanation of why we're testing his blood, so he kind of has a heads up, and then we're going to go from there. He, a few of the symptoms he's had are, he's ha he has about five out of eight of the symptoms that he has. Some of them are like um, more recent, like having pain with his stomach and having, he actually complains of his feet hurting, which is, was, which is why we've kind of been a little bit more curious as to what's going on. Um, he's always thirsty. He's always hungry. He, um, has issues with wetting the bed and he has for a long time. In fact, when I took him to his well child checkup, um, last year for when he turned five and to get his kindergarten shots, the doctor had asked me that specific question is if he wets the bed often. And I told him he did, but it seemed like it was decreasing, but it's, it's still the same as it was before. It's quite often, even though we monitor how much he drinks and make sure that he stops drinking at a certain point at the end of the night, he still has some issues. And what were the other symptoms? I'm trying to think. His mood swings. He has very like he's either really really happy or he's really really upset it's pretty off the wall and um i'm trying to think of what all the other symptoms were it's definitely something that we are concerned about and want to get checked out and so we're going to go ahead and have a conversation with him really quick and give him a rundown on the fact that he has to fast and he can't eat for eight hours or drink and basically a little bit on what diabetes is and then if he actually does have it, then we'll go from there. Regardless, we do want to, if he doesn't have it, we do want to kind of adjust what our kids eat for snacks. We don't, I wouldn't say we eat unhealthy. We don't eat out very often. I make home cooked meals that I would say are healthy. But um, as far as snacks, I think we definitely can improve. And so I've been doing my research on healthier alternatives. And so yeah, that's kind of um, a basic what's up with what's going on with him. And so we're going to go ahead and have a conversation with him and then see the doctor in the morning. Doctor's appointment tomorrow. Okay, do you know what we're doing at your doctor's? We're getting you checked for diabetes. Okay, so that's My diabetes. Like, so we're going to have your blood drawn. And that means they're going to take some of your blood and they're going to test it to see if your body has a hard time processing sugar. Yeah. And if it does, it can be kind of dangerous if we don't know about it. Remember when your body hurt all over and you couldn't figure out why your body hurt all over? That could be because of the way you process sugar. And how so. you, you just said your tummy hurts, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go to the doctor tomorrow. But here's the thing. You cannot eat or drink for eight hours. So that means after we leave the party tonight? Yeah, well, so when you go to bed... And when you get in the, up in the morning, you cannot eat or drink. No breakfast tomorrow. You can drink water, but no no orange juice or milk or food. I don't have work tomorrow. Yeah. So, you'll go with us, right? Yeah. So, I think he might well, guess have what? There's only one thing in the whole world that does not have sugar. Water. So, <laughs> so do not drink or eat in the morning. Promise me. Jax, this is serious. This yeah. is a serious thing, and we need you to know that it's serious so that you don't eat or drink in the morning. How will we get the blood out of me? Uh, we'll show you when we get there, okay? But they listen. just prick your finger. It doesn't hurt. It'll and be now great. my brain hurts. Again, like going to side to side. It does. You have a headache again? Yeah. See, that might be another thing. So that's why we have to have your blood tested to make sure that you're doing okay. Because if you 
Because if you have what's called diabetes, then we have to make sure we take care of our body a little bit differently, okay? And eat things a little differently. And what are diabetes? We'll talk about it more, buddy. It's like when your body can't, like, when you eat something with sugar and your body can't handle the sugar, it's, we'll explain it. If you have it, it's serious, okay? But if you don't have it, we still need to kind of watch what we're eating to figure out why you don't feel so good, okay? Alright. You okay? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, sis? You nervous? It's okay. You get a toy? Yeah, you gotta be really brave. And then you can get a token. Okay, you're fine. What if, did it scare you that you were late? Scare you more than it hurts? Show me. Yeah. Make him sit. Why am I doing it? Is it? Make her sit. Can I see your pokes? Two of them. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. I we are back from Jackson's doctor's appointment and it went really well. Yeah. Jackson had to get pricked twice. He wasn't too happy about that. Anyway, uh, so we got to the doctor's appointment and we told the doctor what we were concerned about and she said it was a good thing that we came in and got checked mm -hmm. out because, yeah. you know, really anything that seems out of the ordinary is something you need to, you know, not take lightly. And I, I really don't think like I'm a hypochondriac when it comes to my kids, but if there's something that does seem odd, I definitely like to get them checked out right away and just kind of see what's up. So they went ahead and pricked his finger and checked his A1C and his A1C number was 5.6. Mm -hmm. She said that if it was above 5.6, then it would be something we'd be concerned about, but because it is 5.6, we're really not too concerned. But she did want to go ahead and test his urine as well <clears throat> as well as give him a glucose check his um blood with a glucose test. So they pricked his finger again and he was not happy. Thankfully Brandon was with us because he was really dramatic. Huh. That was kinda it hurt, huh? So they pricked his finger again, checked his glucose number, and his glucose number came back as 90. And when I first saw that, I was like, oh no, that seems really high. Because I had to check my sugars when I was pregnant with Xander. And um, when I was pregnant with Xander, I had to check my sugars. And for some reason, I guess maybe I'm still confused because it's been so long since I've had to do that. But when I saw 90, I thought, oh no, that's really high for a fasting, for a fasting level. But she said it looked perfect and that it was great. So at this point, we are just going to keep an eye on him and we are going to try to watch our carbs and our sugar intake and just kind of be a little bit more mindful about what we're eating and just go from there. Huh? Yeah. Well, can we get a chat mark? Because, yeah, that did happen. And then Sophie had her immunizations and did really well. She was a big trooper and didn't cry that much. They got little toys, huh? Because you were so good. I got four tokens and then <laughs> I got four toys. And uh, one was a gem, one was a bug bouncy ball, and, and the and And there are some like beads that go wider and then they glow. Oh yeah, did you put those in water yet? No. I have these for because I've got those ones. And it did happen. They're white. Okay, so anyway, it all went well, huh? We got healthy kids and we're just really, really happy that everything went well. 
and that everyone's healthy. And we're glad we got it checked out and just kind of got a final say on if he does or doesn't have it. Oh, those are your owies, huh? Those, and those mm -hmm. are my band-aids. All right. Well, I think that's it. You did great, huh? It's all done and good and a healthy little kid. And Sophie got poked. Yeah. Poked three times. Yeah, she was a little bit behind on her immunizations, and so she had a couple And But she did really good. She was very brave. And she got three tokens. I got more. Yeah, she should have got just as much as you did. She got poked more than you. No. Ha, 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 ha. All right, say, see you later.